sir. Ma. I want to say a very big thank you to you too for taking good care of Ikeni. For everything you have done for him. God will bless you both. He will bless you in thousand folds. Amen. Amen. No. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Of you. course, it's our duty to take good care of him. That is why I'm saying thank you. <laughs> um, please, I have a little favor to ask. What is it? I would love to take a canoe to the city with me. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Princess. You... Princess, no, you can't. How can you go to uh, the city with a cripple? Eh? With this smelly injury on his leg? It's not possible now. Eh? You, you can't even take care of him. Princess, I am one in the end, but I am not for one. We are seeing hell. I'm much more of a young girl like you, carrying this heavy body on your shoulder. It, it, it's not possible. It's not possible. Mba, Ajum, no. Let, let him stay here. Hmm? We will take care of him in this place. You hear me? No. Please, let her take him to the city. How can you be making that suggestion? If, if, if a young girl like this is making that kind of suggestion, you, an old woman like you, is equally making that kind of suggestion, that, that this nuisance, you know, Ekene is a complete nuisance. Eh? He will carry that his dirty habit into the princess' uh, um, 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 house and cause a nuisance to the princess in the city. And you, you, you are suggesting that she, the princess will now begin to take care of a nuisance. Mbam! Eh? Adeze, Chelu, happy head that no uh, we will take care of him. It's okay by me. Um, I can handle it. You see? She can handle it. Huh? No, please allow them. Uncle. Uncle, I am grown enough to know what I want for myself. Yes. I might be a cripple, but I have a voice to speak for myself. Mm, wow. uh, you have a voice. I've made up my mind to follow the princess to the city. Oh, where then? You have a voice. Why did you not have a voice in the beginning? Hmm? It is now that you are having a voice. It's um, alright. Um, please, I just um, I just need somebody to help me um, go with him to his room to uh, help yes, him with his bags. Pack his uh, bags. Uh, Let me go and do it. Um, um, wait. Um, you know Uche, uh, Uche, my son, is his very good friend though. Eh? And when he comes back now, he'll be asking me where is Ekene, where is Ekene, where is Ekene. So if you will give us a forwarding address where you live, so that when Uche comes, we will give yes. it to Uche. He will want to visit well, one friend. day, yes. Oh, that's not a problem at all. Um, when the appropriate time comes for him to visit um, Ekene in the city, I'll send the address to you. Uh, yes. It's okay. Huh? Appropriate time. At the appropriate time. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, that's what she meant. Uh, that is what she said now. Uh, Why are you repeating it? I just want to... It's okay. Mama, please just help him with his uh, back. Let me go and pack his back. Let's go. Uncle, can you help us pack it today? Wait, what are you packing? Do you have anything in this house? Is it not the few clothes that uh, my son gave to you that uh, you are packing? Get out. You are going to the city. I should come and pack for you.
Did I carry you? Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'm fine, eh? I'm fine. So, this is my living room. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you. You know, the fragrance coming out from the place is, is exciting. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and the place is very quiet. First off, I'm glad you like the place. And secondly, it's quiet because I live in this apartment alone. My oh. chief maiden and my security stays at the boys' quarter. Oh, is that so? Yes. You're not married? Mm, not yet. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I asked an offensive question. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I asked because I want to know. Oh, no, no, it's it's nothing. It's not a problem. It's fine. Okay, so um, I'll get your bag from Mwabugo so I can take you to your room. Okay? All right. Mwabugo, let me get your box. Stay put. Okay, so um, this is your bed. Touch it. Go ahead. You like it, right? Yes, I like it. It's, it's nice and very soft. Better than the one I use in the village. <laughs> okay, that's exactly why I brought you here. The other amenities in the room you're going to be using, that's the air condition, which is the AC. It's on 16, so when it gets too cold, you can actually increase to about 27 degrees or 30. That's very comfortable. This is the television. Um, the DSTV is not subscribed yet, but I'll put that in order, okay? And now, um, here, yeah. Isa, the toilets, and the bathroom. Just in case you need anything, you can call me and they will attend to you, okay? Okay. All right, I'll just let you get acquainted with the room. Feel comfortable. It's your bedroom. Alright? I'll come get you when dinner is ready. Huh? Thank you so much, my princess. You're welcome. Alright, see you in a bit. Let me drop your box. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll call you when dinner is served. Thank you for this day. Blessed be your holy name, O oh Lord. God of cripple. God of less privilege. I give you all the glory. Thank you for using her to uplift me. Thank you for using her to bless me. Thank you for using her all around me. Father Lord, please bless her for me. Bless her in her strength, abundantly, and all. May all the glory be to you, O Lord. Amen. My son, I've come to tell you that dinner is ready. Mama, I'm not hungry. I don't have appetite for food now. Yes. I've noticed that you have not been happy since Princess Chisum took Ekene to the city. Why? Oh, why would I be happy? I hate Ekene! My son, why do you suddenly hate Ekene? Where on earth has he wronged you? Mama, right from childhood, 
Ekene has only seen me as a competitor. I don't know what I did to him. Ekene knows very well that Princess Chison likes me. And he went to bewitch her so she can hate me. Why is that fair? You've started to act and sound like your father. Yes, I already know he has a strong influence towards your decisions and actions. Recently, I noticed it. Why? So, Mama, everything I just explained to you, everything I just told you about again, means nothing to you, right? My son, listen. If Princess Chisum loves or likes you, she will definitely come back to you. It doesn't matter whether she is with Ekene or not. Destiny will always locate you, irrespective of distance. So come and eat your food. How long can you continue like this? Eh? Why would you want to starve yourself to death because Princess Chisom took Ekene to the city? I'm asking you, how long are you going to continue like this? Come on, let's go so that you can have your food. Come! Uh, Uncle, sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, no problem, I understand. Alright, uh, my father said that you want to see me and talk to me. Yes. I am here to tell you, never to lose hope in winning the heart of Princess Chisum. No, come here. Uh, Uncle, as it is right now, I am ready to do anything to win her love. Now you are talking. I have to talk to a palace guard in the palace. Who will now introduce you to Prince Ezinwa? Mm -hmm. Brother to Prince Chisu. Yes, her younger brother. Yes. Uh, but Uncle, how is it going to be of help? Use your brain. See, the moment both of you becomes friends, the prince will have no other option than to influence the sister in accepting you. You know the problem between uh, Prince Ugonna and uh, Chisum. So she will have no other option than to look for where to lean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uncle, <laughs> master planner. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry, all right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You don't know my name. Iye tunum Amandia Neze. Anu kan kampi. All right, all right, all right. I, I owe you one. I owe you one something. Uh, okay. All right. Um, let me get my car. Uh, I know it will end in praises. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm familiar. Uh, I'll, I'll just stand here and wait for I'm you. Coming. Let me wait. It's me. I am coming to. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey. Um, so tell me, how are you coping with the wheelchair? I hope it's been useful. Uh, yes, I'm actually getting used to it. Oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I can. Yeah. Are you hiding something from me? I'm so sorry I didn't tell you. Oh my God. What happened to you? How did you sustain this injury? So you can know you hate me so much that you went to tell the princess rubbish lies about me so she can hate me, right? Me? 
going to tell the princess rubbish about you. I, I, I didn't tell princess anything, I swear. I did not. Unyash. I, I cannot lie with this. Unyash. You're a liar. You are a liar. You're wicked. Ekene, you are heartless, just like your late father. Ekene, you don't want to tell me the truth, right? Now, start talking. Yes. Because if you don't tell me the truth, I will do something to you that you will never ever believe that I'm the one that did it to you. Hey, can you start talking? Hey, Yourself a dead man, and henceforth, it's gonna be your cap. You must wear this cap anywhere you're going. for the problems huh? and moreover the other day he came to the house which he ran into the room and uh, begged me to forgive him this is wickedness he asked you to forgive him yeah. after doing this to you it's okay what are you take a look at this look at what a human did to his own fellow human and is asking for your forgiveness this is wickedness and inhumanity to a fellow human Listen, I am going to deal with them seriously for doing this to you without even considering your condition. My princess, please. I would want you to forgive them. Yeah, right. Okay? Just let them be. I have already forgiven them. And I would like if you do so. Okay? Please. It's okay if you... I mean, if that is what you want. But most importantly, I will have to take you to the hospital for proper treatment. What? I mean, my, my, my princess, I am. That won't be necessary. Good. What, what, what did I hear you say? What won't be necessary? You mean you want to go? Oh, please. I'll just cover this up and then let you dress up and take you to the hospital. Please. You can't say no. So I'll leave you now. So you take this off. You need air for that to heal properly. So I'll let you dress up. I'll come back and then I'll take you to the hospital. Okay, and don't. I think I should be able to do this. Wow. <laughs> I am so happy. In fact, I am super excited really? to be employed as the personal cook of the princess. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> well, I'm the happiest. <laughs> Because I'm the personal assistant to Ekene. And you know what that means? I'm much, much, much higher than you. 
You know, I am surprised at the princess's order that we take instructions from Mekene. Oh, that. Well, you don't need to be surprised. Because the princess is like Sekene and really wants to help him. You know, it is really, really obvious the reason she bought the wheelchair for him. Mm. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm much, much, much higher than you. So, you know what that means? <laughs> One of my guards told me a lot of good things about you. How kind you were, how generous you are. You know, looking at what is going on in the world, you would think that everybody is bad. In fact, you can't even trust anybody. Everybody has a reason to be bad, but you chose to be good, expecting nothing in return. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> oh, well, that is the real me. That is who I am, naturally. Oh, I like helping people and I keep telling people if we we the young generation if we keep supporting each other the world would become a better place definitely definitely so <laughs> I keep preaching that uh, <laughs> you know having you here and listening to you talk I strongly believe that you're someone I would like to be friends with oh oh oh, oh, oh my pleasure my pleasure my point so tell me more about yourself um <laughs> Yeah, by myself. Uh, my name is Uchi. I already told you that. Yeah. Uh, the only son of Mr. Mbaku. Ben, I want to ask you something. Okay. You seem to like Joy, the princess's friend. <laughs> well, uh, yes, because she's she's pretty and. A black beauty. You know, you know, I'm fair, right? So uh, there is this special love I have, I have for black beauties through African colors. Alright? So I love I love Joe. But Gina, Gina, well, Gina is okay, but I don't like sexy doings. <laughs> no, I don't like sexy doings. See so the way he's demonstrating. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, I would say I like Joy because she has this angelic voice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Mm. But I have to go back to my mm. duty post. You too like me, but. <laughs> Why did you even stay here in the first place? So I need to go back to. This way. Again, eh? mm. Now. I've taught you how to make jello fries. I'm still, I'm, still, me, I'm still testing it. I know you don't know how to cook it. But let me test it first and know if you're more than me or. Again, <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay, Anyway, I'll give you 60%. Are you, scared? Are you kidding me? Mm. Are you trying to tell me that the good. food is not delicious? It's or good. I didn't say it's not good. It's good. You tried. But you're enjoying it. Um, you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying what? Yeah, enjoying because it's me eating it like yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it. anything. Pat, carry this food. Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm more interested in meat. <laughs> Greetings, Prince. It's you and um, Ogonna. Nice to meet you.